What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to create colour and book pages in Canva the easy way. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said, in this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest way that you can create color and book pages in Canva. So if you already have Canva, this is going to be perfect for you. Because we're going to use Canva. Now, Canva is my preferred software to create all of my books. And then we're also going to use Creative Fabrica. So if you have a Creative Fabrica membership, this is also going to be perfect for you as well. Now, first things first, the way that I'm going to show you how to create a coloring book works because this is how I create my own personal coloring books. And I do actually have a couple of coloring books that are performing extremely well. Now, for this month so far, we can see for my low content book publishing business, I've already made 3,100. It's been a really good month. Now, not all of these are sales from coloring books because I have a huge diverse library now. But if we scroll down to here, this top one is actually a composition notebook, but my second best seller for the month, I actually sold 266 units, making $542 in royalties. And this is one of my adult coloring books. Now, this actually has profanity on the front cover, which means I can't advertise this book. So this right here is all complete profit. And if we scroll down a little bit to find another one, I have another book, coloring book, an adult coloring book, doing pretty well organically as well. And this one sold 51 units and made $102. Now, the way that I created these coloring books is how I'm about to show you. So if we actually go over to Canva, I've already pulled up an example. I found these, all of these just here, over on Creative Fabrica. So if we go over to here and then search, so I search through graphics and then through coloring books adults, and you're going to find some really great graphics and things that you can actually create your books out of. Now, let's just give that a second to load up and do its thing. It's being a little bit slow today. There we go. As we can see, if we scroll down, this is where I found it. So this interior looks pretty good. What I want you to do is come through, check out the seller because they have some really great stuff. Now, instead of me opening that in a new tab, I realize I've already got that just here. And if we scroll down, all of these are perfect for creating your coloring books. You can take these and then put quotes, funny quotes, on the coloring page. Now, the quotes are going to have to be niche specific. Don't just grab these, create a coloring book and chuck it up. You still want to niche down in your coloring books. Now, if we look through here, we can see they look really, really great. Now, this seller is called KDP Interior 24. If you want to go and check them out, I will leave a link for this seller or this designer down in the description, so it's a little bit easier for you to go through. But what I like to do is find graphics like these. There's loads of them. And when I say loads, I mean loads. If we look here, there's over 7,000 results for the adult coloring pages. And most of these, you can find some really great graphics or mandalas like this. 160 page mandala coloring book. So we could take these pages, merge them together with other ones, and then start creating our books. So if we go back over to here, what I personally would do, I wouldn't just take one packet and make a book out of that. I'd download multiple different packages or bundles and then mix and match the interior with other ones in different bundles all from the same seller so it keeps that book congruent but it's more unique to you 
Now, if you already have a Creative Fabrica membership, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier because you can come in and download any one of these anytime you want and at no extra cost. If you haven't got the membership, it's okay because they're still really cheap. So let's go over here to an incognito window just so we can see. Now, if we scroll down, we can see, look, $1 for these 30 pages, $1.50 for these 30 pages. So if you don't have the Creative Fabrica, you can still come in, buy them and download them. Just remember that it's so much easier when you pay for a membership, because with the membership, we can come in and download these at no extra cost. Anyway, what I went ahead and done is actually opened one of these, downloaded one as well. I think I opened this one or downloaded it because I really like the look of these. Look how good quality they are. And they're only like $1.50. So these types of images, you can create some really good quality notebooks around. Not notebooks, colouring books. Now, if we go back over to here into Canva, we can see... Now, if I open this folder, this is where I downloaded it. So I went over to Creative Fabrica, found this seller, found these graphics, downloaded them, got them in the folder just here. We have the PDF, the AI file, .ai. So this is important if you want to start changing certain elements within this coloring page. If you have Affinity Designer, I think that's AI, isn't it? I believe so. If you have that, we can upload that there and then customize all of these different pages, which is absolutely awesome. But for the majority of people, we're just going to use them as is and then put quotes on the front. But if we look here, we have all the PNGs just here and I went and downloaded them, uploaded them into here, just so you can see the quality of these designs. Now let's actually zoom in a little bit because these are just really good quality for like one pound or one dollar fifty absolutely crazy so what i've gone ahead and done is just added five of these onto here so you can see what they look like in case you want to go and download some similar images from that designer so we have the first one just there second one i really like i don't really like how black that bit is but hey ho it still looks good then we have the third really nicely designed so put in some niche quotes or making a niche specific coloring book out of these graphics would be relatively easy now if we scroll down to here that's the fourth one and then we have the fifth one i could have done it with all of these but i only wanted to show you five just so you can see what they look like so from here what I would now go ahead and do, I'd do a bunch of research first to find out what type of book that I want to create, what type in what type of niche. Things like positivity work well, motivation, so a motivation colouring book for women, that would work well. But I'd figure out what type of book I'm going to create. I'd then do all of the research into finding quotes that I could use in my book. And then once I have all of that, all of the research, everything I need to create, that's when I'd start creating. So with the um, quotes, I'd just put them on like this. Now, this is just a real simplified version of what I would do. What I would do is use multiple different fonts in combination with each other that actually complement each other and look good now the good thing about having canva especially the canva pro or should i say specifically the canva pro and actually having a creative fabrica membership is that we can come in here and go to fonts and we can find some really nice looking fonts for creating our books around. Now, because I have that membership, I can come in here, download any fonts that I want, upload them here within Canva, and then I can use them into a, turn them into a coloring book page by using the specific effects that Canva now has. So if we click on the font, you can get up any fonts just here. You can use the fonts within Canva, but I like to use my own. And then we can use effects. So if we click on here, Let's just add something here so you can see. Let's put something here. Let's do that again. So something. Now from here, we could make that bigger. 
We can change the fonts. I'd have all of my fonts down here, which I've uploaded into Canva, but using these effects just here, let's click on here. We can click on splice, change this to white, then change the borders just here. So we want the offset zero. We want that thickness just a little bit. And then that direction we want zero as well. And now you can see this is a coloring in font. And we can do that with any fonts that we like because of the effects that Canva now has. And like I said, you can do this on any font. Now, top tip, if you have graphics like this in the background, this coloring page, you want the font thickness to match the graphics. So let me say that again. You want the font thickness to match the graphics. Now, let me play around with this. Look, if we did that, it just does not look right, does it? So with the thickness here, we can play around. Let's get rid of that one until it's thick enough. Let's get that up to where it's thick enough to where it's around about the same as the page. That keeps everything congruent. Now, like I said, this is how I would just go around creating my coloring books. Just adding quotes onto coloring book pages like this using multiple different fonts that I personally downloaded from Creative Fabrica to keep my books as unique as I possibly could. So I wouldn't just have one font like this. If we scroll down, I'd have multiple different fonts. So I've said this multiple times in multiple different videos, fonts play a big part in your designs. If you can pay for your fonts and get really good quality fonts, you can make really good quality designs as we can see just here. So like I said, I would use a couple of different fonts and then I'd play around with effects making it pop so with this this looks good as is so around here they can actually color in round the lettering but the actual word is black now how did I do that that came out a little bit squeaky so how did I do that well it was pretty simple just by copying so let's take away that I had the word here so all I did was go to duplicate just there effects none and then I just moved that on top and then moved it to the side a little bit. And we can see it looks pretty good. Now let's do that a little bit more. There we go. This looks really good. So I could have it like that or I could have it like this. So instead of having that black on the word, as we can see just here, I've put it behind. So it's more like a drop shadow and that makes the word really pop off the page. Now there's lots of different things that you can do like this. Now if you want another video all about creating coloring books, I have done a couple of different ones in the past. I'll link it right there right now in the right hand corner so you can go through, watch, take action and get your first coloring book published. But always remember to modify stuff. If we're using, let's go back over to, not there, to here. If we're using images like this, then it's always best to design on top of that design. So instead of just putting words on a page like this, which really doesn't look that great, it looks okay. You want to start using all different fonts, two different fonts, which work well in combination with each other. And then you want to use graphics to make that pop, just so it makes the pages or the words on the page stand out and it looks like it's been designed. So again, this is why having a Canva Pro in combination with a Creative Fabrica membership is a must if you're not really a designer because we can get some really nice fonts from here and then turn them into coloring pages here. Now you can only upload fonts if you have that Canva Pro. If you don't have the Canva Pro, then you're still going to need um, Creative Fabrica so we can get interiors like this but you could just use the free fonts here on Canva. But that's the simplest and easiest way to go about creating a coloring book. Now, if you want more information on creating coloring books, because you still need to understand niche research, you still need to understand keywords, how to fill them out, how to create the interior, which I just showed you here, and actually how to create the covers, getting it uploaded and all of that good stuff, then come and check out the LCB Vault. This is our course 
which now has over 229 five-star reviews, which is absolutely awesome. But within this course, we have four different courses, and the main one that you might want to check out is Simple Coloring Books. We do sell it individually, which you can check out as well. If you want to go and check it out, you can get there by going to simplecoloringbooks.com, but this, this is actually a bonus within the LCB Vault, so there's actually no need to buy it separate. And if you come through, you can check out all of the modules here within Simple Coloring Books. But again, you're going to want to get it from the LCB Vault just because there's four courses in one. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and click that link down below. But again, that's just how simple it can be. You don't have to overcomplicate it. You can make really good coloring books just by using stuff or images or interiors like these from Creative Fabrica in combination with fonts that you pay for to make really good quality designs. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.